Okay, welcome to the new Amada TV channel. This is a bit of a, a test to see, well, to see how many likes we get, basically. So if we get enough likes, we'll carry on. Uh, we're going to talk about all sorts of things CD Tenerife. And uh, first things first, Bob and Colin are helping me. And Bob's going to go over some of the new players. Okie doke. Well, out were Ricardo Leon, Javi Lara, Artanetki, Christian Garcia, Mutino, Sal Garcia, and Roberto, who's gone to Mirandis. Uh, we'll come back to Sal later. Uh, Ricardo Leon, obviously a long time at the club. Yeah. Deserves a little bit of a pat on the back, especially yeah. the way he came back. And he was a good servant here, but his time was up, and uh, it was good to, uh, that he mo he's moving on now, I think. Uh, 34 years old, so. Yeah, uh, it's just about, yeah. just about his time. So, the new signings. Uh, Alex Garcia, signed for Mirandis. Uh, midfielder, 32 years old. Edu Oriol from Lagostera, uh, 29 years old. Mark Crossas, 28 years old. Uh, Iñaki, left back, 28 years old. Samuel Camille from Pomferradina. And Ismail Falcon, 32 years old goalkeeper. Now, to me, that's like not one player under the age of 28 years old. No. We've Don't gone know. for experience, <laughs> a mixture between youth and experience, basically. Well, but. I can live with a 32-year-old goalkeeper, but... Yeah, well, Alex Garcia, he's only missed three matches in the last two seasons, so he, he, wherever he goes, he's, he's ever-present, uh, almost. So he should be a good signer, you know, and the keeper's been good, as what I've seen so far. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with the signings, in a way, but we still need one or two, you know? It seem to be giving us a nice bit of width as well. Like uh, in IK, he goes up forward on the on the left. He's done well, setting up a few uh, good chances. We've got a bit of um, room to manoeuvre around there now. Still, I think jury's out a little bit for me on Mark Croesus. I haven't really seen. I want to see him take control of the game more. I'm waiting for him to impose himself. But uh, hopefully, once he gets into proper competitive action, we'll see uh, exactly what they're made of. I've got a feeling that like we have. Gone quite quick into the market this time. I mean, look, like you know, mm. other seasons we messed around and messed around. This time, I think we may have gone in a bit too quickly. Um, that was due mainly to the elections, and he yeah. wanted to create a good image of you know that we're but, going club. But yeah, I think the problem is, as I say now, it's coming back as I say, Seoul. They did try to keep him. They did try, but then they moved in on two left backs like pretty rapidly. And now we find that Sol's gone to Girona on loan for another year. Uh, um, that, to me, is quite disappointing. Yeah, but then you have to remember that it's, we're living in a means of uh, the wage balance, and I'd rather spend that extra money on a forward, maybe, rather than a defender, which right. is covered maybe anyway, I don't know. Which forward's that then? No, <laughs> uh, he's still on his way, yeah. Well, maybe Diego Ifran, that would be nice to see. You'd like to see him back, no? Uh, yeah, he did all right for about half a season, he looked good, but he faded a bit but um, quite a few injuries and suspensions yeah I suppose um, Penarol's his comfort zone he's gone back home to, to Uruguay and I'm, I'm not quite sure why he'd want to suddenly come back over again unless he's still how old is he he's, he's another one he's late like, end in the 20s yeah, isn't he late, late 20s I think yeah, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, I think he'd be a good signing yeah, I'd look yeah. forward to seeing him yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind seeing him back to be honest with you the only other rumour I've heard is this uh, Darwin matches from I think he's going to who, Granada, no? Who I don't, actually don't think is that great, actually. Um, no. So, and then the uh, Raul de Thomas from Castilla, that one mm -hmm. seems to have gone by the way now. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. have, obviously, as I say, well, I'm quite impressed with uh, Derrickson and uh, Yunusi's. Mm -hmm. uh, They've done very well. Very much. I, mean, I don't know if they're um, ready to be blooded into a, like, a quarter of a game this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Or even Crystal Gonzalez, uh, his attitude's not 100% according to Pet Marty, so... They well, might have the choice, I mean, you've got, someone's got to play, right. and... Uh... Well, you could, yeah, but you could have other people up front. I think uh, they'll start with Omar Ramos and Suso up front. Yeah, that's a possibility, isn't it? Or, or he'll be on Suso, yeah. I suppose. It'll, yeah. it'll the right. two uh, allies, Gonzalez and Pipo, again, probably a little bit too soon for them this season, but they've shown a bit, they'll go back and learn a bit more with the Yeah, B I team. think they need another year in the big team. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably, yeah. 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 And we want to leave the B team some players anyway, but uh... and I know I noticed the other night in the friendly against Hitafe Ali Gonzalez had a chance to shine, 
and one ball came up and he had a chance to chest it down and do something and the defender just nudged him out of the way, barged him yeah, through yeah. and we can't have that in the second division. Yeah. Uh, it's not, he's not ready yet. Too easily it? knocked off the ball. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that disappointed me pre-season last year with you knew he was heralded as, heralded as the next big thing. For a big lad he was very easily knocked off the ball but yeah. he seems to have moved on from that with his years alone, got stronger and I think with him if he's anywhere near as good as the club rate him, now's possibly his chance to get him in there and see him flourish. Yeah, well, he, he, every any youth player, you've got a chance to shine, haven't you? So yeah. if you don't take your yeah. chances, you're going to end yeah. up playing second B for the rest of your life. So. Yeah, and I think he realises that. You can see he's got a bit more hunger this season. And, and, uh, he's, he's hoping to get picked. Uh, Derek Son... It's been a lot better than, a, than most of us thought he would be. I mean, he's, he's not one a bit part player. Um, it'd be nice to see him, but again, it depends on how many how many other new players we bring in before the before the window closes. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs>